Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sam. Now, today's video, we're going to teach you how to get to a thousand subscribers the fastest. So, let's get right into the video. Step number one, pick a niche, which I mean by that is pick a game that you enjoy playing. Pick a game that you like putting content out on. So, for example, if you like Rocket League, put out tutorials how to win in Rocket League, how to how to unlock cars in Rocket League. I'm not a big Rocket League person, only seen gameplays of it here and there, but I'm not too familiar what you can unlock and etc. in the game. But find a game where you like to play. So the first step is off the table, man. So for me, this is 2K20 for me. So I do not get drained out fast like once you find something that you like to do once you find a video game you like putting content on you're not gonna be able to just stop doing it because if you like playing that game so much if this is your favorite game in the world and you're putting content out you're never gonna get burnout I hope all that made sense man because it's like if you don't love making videos if you don't love grinding you won't you won't make it I'm telling you now after three videos you post or two videos you post they don't get no um, what's it called they don't get no traction on it they don't get no views oh this video sucks then you give up like really man you just said you wanted to do YouTube but you giving up after the second video get the fuck out of here man but my bad bro just a little rant right there number three the best thing i can say for you guys stay consistent stay consistent stay consistent please that's the only goal when's the last time you see me post a few hours ago the video before that a few hours ago if you're consistent i promise you consistency beats perfection any day because think about it if you don't post who gonna show up if you're not here to post for your audience who's gonna show up you're not posting no video they not gonna show up and imagine if you're posting every day that's more people showing up what a lot of people I tell I, I got two people channel monetized so far on YouTube right now two people's channel the tips I gave them were to use thumbnails I'm gonna get into that too tags I'm gonna get into that too description I'm gonna get into that too so when they hit their their uh their goal of getting monetized one of them just stopped posting <laughs> like that didn't make no sense to me like you happy you got monetized they just stopped posting but i could see another thing people do struggle with is hey sam what video do i post i got nothing to post i got no ideas provide value Provide value in the simplest and easiest way that you know possible. So, for us, for instance, why do people watch me? What am I known for? Why, why do, why are you even watching this video? You want to get to a thousand subscribers. That's providing you guys some value. Why do you guys watch my VC glitch? To get free VC instead of buying it, providing you guys value. Why do you watch the badge glitch? So you don't have to grind your badges. Giving you guys value so you can go ahead and get them way faster. So if you're providing value, so for instance, if you don't get this, um, for instance, GTA 5, a money glitch. That's providing value. They're giving you free money, showing you how to make free money. Like, guys, if you provide value, if you give somebody something for watching your video, and you have a, a great intent and you're not bullshitting you will make it but there's one thing man don't let delusion take over because i met some people that say sam i'm posting every day i'm not growing i do this all the time like what kind of videos are you posting when's the last time you posted oh the last time i posted was a month ago a week ago why didn't you post today why didn't you post yesterday? What's all? What, what's what's the excuses for? And another thing, people always tell me, 
I'm posting gameplay. I want to post gameplay. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine. You don't got to post glitches. You can post gameplay, whatever you want to. But if you do decide to do that, try to find providing value in some type of way. So for instance, like every gameplay you see on YouTube, if you see a best jump shot gameplay, they're providing value, giving you the best jump shot. My bad for drifting into the value part, but um, like if you want to do gameplay, you got to understand talent and effort matters because you're not the only person doing gameplays. I can name plenty of people that's doing part gameplays and the, you got to got to get your dude, man. Y'all got to get some through your head, bro. If you post a part gameplay and it only gets 10 views, you suck. I'm being flat out 100. If you post 10 videos and they and they only hit 10 views, you sucked to the market. The market decides what's good. We we don't decide. The market does. So if you put out a, it could be the thumbnail you put in front of people that made them not want to click it, or it could be the title. It could be a number of things. But if you've been doing YouTube for a while and you're not getting the views. It's simply because you suck. Ain't no way around it. No one's going to cry. You guys just got to do better, bro. And and a lot of people don't understand that one video can change your life. My bad. I'm drifting off in all different types of categories, man. But my bad, bro. I didn't even keep the steps in here. But people don't understand that one video can change your life. They don't understand. Like the first video that blew up. Like, I was doing glitches before still because I like doing it. But the first VC glitch I posted that blew up probably got like 50,000 views. That changed the whole scope of my YouTube, the whole career. So, that's why I'm like, I'm trying to tell people one video can change it all. You don't understand. One video you post can get 100,000 views. Then all the other videos after that are going to be bingo. Bingo was his name, oh man. It's gonna be pure gold, man. But to get into some CEO tips to help you guys rank into search, etc. Okay, guys. So this first thing I think is the most important is your title. The title has to match it. The thumbnail, the description, your tags. Well, the title, not the tags, but your thumbnail, your description. In your title those are the three main keys that are gonna make or break your video so for example if you post an amazing video you edit it you took your time you took five hours to do it but if you put a suck thumbnail in front of it who gonna click it nobody nobody's gonna notice all that time you put in just cuz of the thumbnail and the title so, for example, um, I could say um, a title could be, I see titles that's crazy all the time. So, for a game, everybody knows about, um, I think GTA. Everybody knows GTA. For GTA, how to get, so for GTA, I've seen this title on YouTube. GTA 5, how to buy outfits. Like, I didn't want to click on it, but I clicked on it because it came in my recommended. I don't know why, but I clicked it. I clicked automatically off just because the production value and simply I didn't need the video because I already know how to buy clothes in GTA. You go to the clothes store, bro. Like <laughs> that's providing value in a way because he's telling you how to buy clothes or he could have said how to get clothes for free. That's that's even better than how to buy clothes. Everybody knows how to buy clothes, but how to get the clothes for free is a different thing. So. I think we covered the value part of this, so we're going to move on to the next thing, which is, you guys already got a little bit information about thumbnails, you guys already know, you you watch your favorite YouTubers, you click their clickbait thumbnails, it's all about clickbait, I'm sorry to break it down to y'all, y'all can't name one YouTuber that does not clickbait, you cannot name one person, PewDiePie clickbaits, Jake Paul clickbaits, I can say many more that clickbait, but clickbait is the nature of YouTube. 
Now that does not mean you lie to your audience. Because the fake will evaporate. You post fake content, you don't believe in that content even for a second. You lose. Because if you don't believe it, your audience ain't going to believe it. So, last thing I can say, for your tags and your descriptions. I use something called TubeBuddy. They're not sponsoring me or nothing. But it is really a good tool, such as vidIQ. But if you're a beginner, I recommend TubeBuddy. That was easier for me. That does get you your tags way faster and better ranked. So... For example, if you guys don't know what tags are, tags are just keywords you search into YouTube. So, how to fix a microwave 2019, that's a tag. How to fix how to fix your glasses, that's a tag. How to how to restart an iPhone, that's a tag. Everything you search on YouTube is a tag, literally everything. Every song you search is a tag. Everything you search, guys. So, this was a long video. I did cover a little bit of things just to guys get you started. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. It's your boy Sam, and I'm out.